Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you a simple tip to optimize your game. I will go straight to the point. That is, disable the Raycast target option right here in all the non-interactive UI elements. Why is that? Let's find out. In this tutorial, I use the Access Go GUI Pro Kit Cache Game. I will give a link down in the description below. If you're interested in it, you can check it out. And for the sample scene, I have a lot of UI right here, stacking on each other. The reason for that is I'm going to show you how significant as we going to optimize our game if we had a lot of UI. Now, first, I will run the game. You will see that everything is quite normal, but, but I will open the profiler to show you something. When I open the profiler, please make sure you enable the default file option right here. This will help us to investigate all our meta score to see how we can optimize our code. Now, let's run the game while we profile it. You ski the sky as usual, but let me show you something. I will move my mouse over here. You see, it has been searched. And when I move my mouse out of the window, it's gone. Move in, it's went up. Move out, it's gone. Move in, it's went up. And move out, it is gone. So something is quite unusual here. Let's click it. You see, the play loop have run for 28.6 milliseconds. Let's further investigate it. And for you guys to know, you can show us how much time it's going to run by clicking right here. And here, I will show from the top to bottom. And what we're going to notice is you're going to click here. Update the script run behavior update. You can click the arrow button right here. In behavior update, click it. Event system update. Click it. Standalone input module process. Click it. Process mouse event. Now we see something quite unusual. Remember, the search only happened when we move the mouse in the window and it's gone after we move out of it. So there's something in here. It just run for 5.74 milliseconds. Let's, let's, let's investigate more. You will see that it has pointer input module, get small pointer event data. And now we see the coupling. It is the event system and for sophisticated it's the graphic raycaster. That raycast. The reasons for that is when we're interacting with the UI, what we actually do is we're gonna create a raycast from our screen position, I would call it X and Y and we will create a raycast and shoot to the Unity UI. And when it found target, it will notify the event system to let us know that, ah, oh, we interacting with our UI, let's give a response. However, it is only matter if we collide with an interactive UI. For example, an EUT button, because when we click the button, it will give us back the response. However, in here, if we interact with non-interactive UI, for example, the image right here, it doesn't give us any response, so it is no point of doing that. And, and next, I will show you the data to see that if disabled the Raycast target actually matter or not. Let's find out. I create a simple script which has two methods. One is disable Raycast and two is enable Raycast. What the methods do? is actually we're going to loop through all the children if it had the image component i will disable or enable it in here i have the attribute called button and it will allow us to execute our method in the inspector it is from the naughty attribute package and if you want to learn more i have the full tutorial right here i will give a link down in the description below so make sure to check it out now, let's see in the editor. In the panels, you will see that I have the optimized Raycast script right here. 
and it has two buttons, Disable Recast and Enable Recast. First, let's check. In the background, you will see that I have the Recast Targets enabled. When I click here, you will see that it's become disabled. Oh, that is still the same. So, I don't have to manually go to all the children to click the button one by one. It's waste of time. Use this bucket, use Nori attribute. It's gonna help us saving the valuable time this weekend. Now I will open the profiler to see the major difference. Click Windows, Analysis, and Profiler. Remember to enable the profile. Now let's display. You will see that when we let our like breakout targets to be enabled, I will resize this a little bit. I will click here. You will see that something is quite searching here. Let's click it. And in player loop, you will find update script run behavior update. Click here, click here, click here, click here, and you will see process mode events. This is where we click the we click the screen. Let's further investigate. You will see that the event system recast all take about 5.95 milliseconds. Now, how about we disable all the recast target? In the click panel, disable recast. Check again. You see that the recast target has been set to disable. Now let's click here. You see that it's still searching, but when you click it, it's now gone to 1.47 millisecond. Remember, in the real games, especially in some character when you have to interact a lot to your UI or some idle games when you have to tap a lot to your to the screen, this will have a major impact on your game and reduce how things run. One thing you need to be taken into consideration is that you can actually disable Raycast target in your button and it doesn't change anything. For example, when I click button 1, it will lock out button 1 has been clicked and this is right here also button and when I click it, um, it has to lock button 2 have been clicked and for example, in this button, um, which is right here, I will put the dual window for you to see. There you go, this is button and I can just disable recast target. And for example, when I click it, everything will still be fine. However, in this thing, when I just disable recast target, and when I click it, nothing will happen. But when I enable it, the on click message has been printed down. The difference in here is that the source image of this thing had no value. Why is the button? It has UI sprite. And somehow, when the source image is new, you can just disable recast target and expect the on click event between now. So you should be careful with that. That is the end of my video. If you like it, please consider write and subscribe to the channel. This would be really helpful to me. If you're interested in some optimization topic, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.